usually when you think of atom, we sometimes think of this symbol and sometimes we think of this one. And turns out this one, this one, and this one, they're all correct models of atoms because each one of them tells us different things. This one tells us that there's a nucleus in the center. There's a large empty space around it in which you have electrons moving around, but you cannot pinpoint where electron is without a lot of certainty. This tells us that electrons are moving around the center. There is still a nucleus in the middle, but electrons have their paths and they're just randomly moving around. So this one is telling us that the electrons are moving around in their paths. Of course, you can see that these paths are not circular. Of course, you can see that one electron is path in one path. There's no multiple electrons there. And this model tells us that electrons have not only the paths that go around the center, but they also have like one, two, one, four. It's telling us that there is a certain number of electrons that go around it. All three of them tell us important things. So here's the thing. None of this is wrong but none of them is an exact picture or photograph of what an atom is like. So here's the thing. From this one, we can see that there are shells and these shells are basically energy levels. So electrons are revolving around the nucleus, but not like solar system, ke planet or wo sun, ke ghum, right? it's not like that. Electrons don't have fixed paths. They move randomly. But we, what they do have is fixed energy levels fixed energy levels. These two have the same energy. These four have same energy and that energy is higher for these than these. So the ones that are closer to the nucleus, they have lower energy and the ones that you see further away, they have higher energy. But all four of these have roughly the same energy and these two have roughly the same energy. 